The Las Vegas Sun says for the first time, the government is acknowledging the existence of Area 51. A half of Americans believe in UFOs, right? More than That's that. what I hear. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine, flying saucers, flying discs that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. From leaking classified UFO photographs to discovering the gravity-altering special type of fuel used in a spacecraft, Bob Lazar has been a steadfast whistleblower on UFOs and related alien technology information. This time, he reveals more details with pictures about the terrifying things that happened in Area 51, which is believed to hold classified information about extraterrestrial activities. How valid could these claims be? Are the photographs true? Join us as we delve into the shocking declassified photos of Area 51 just released by Bob Lazar. Bob Lazar's claims and footage. Bob Lazar just revealed incredibly specific details regarding the interior operations, designs, shapes, and complex structures of astronomical crafts in Area 51. He showed some of the spacecraft he has worked on undergoing repairs or examination. He described the propulsion technologies, which used gravitational wave amplifiers to control space-time and supersede conventional propulsion techniques. Such technology was capable of things that humanity had never seen before, which begged interesting concerns concerning its legitimacy and origins. It's crucial to remember, though, that during the previous few decades, some evidence has surfaced that might support Lazar's claims. For example, Bob Lazar appears to have a sincere belief in his own statements, as seen by his many polygraph test passes administered by credible examiners. Furthermore, it has been claimed that his descriptions of the infrastructure and design of Area 51 correspond with satellite images obtained subsequent to his original disclosures. It also appears that Lazar's testimony came before a number of noteworthy scientific developments. Little was known about Element 115 before Lazar made his public revelations. Nonetheless, it was formally included in the periodic table in 2004 and given the name Moscovium. One can't help but wonder if Lazar's story has any merit, given the interval in time between his claims and the scientific verification of Moscovium's existence. Although Lazar was debunked, his assertions gave rise to a number of government conspiracy theories, the majority of which include alien life. There is no evidence that Lazar was ever employed by the military or any government agency. However, a writer claims that Lazar was familiar with the inner workings of Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico, the Groom Lake Complex, and the Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. Lazar made further assertions after that. According to him, the government destroyed his work and educational records and labeled him as a non-existent entity in an attempt to malign him. Lazar was criticized for being a fake by some, who said he lacked credible evidence to back up his claims, while others thought his story was intriguing and unsettlingly realistic. In the late 1980s, Bob Lazar claims surfaced when he was asked to work at the installation, giving rise to conspiracy theories, saying that the government was looking into recovered alien spacecraft. Bob Lazar is a physicist who affirmed that he worked in the S-4 section of the formerly secret military base known as Area 51, he revealed to George Knapp, a television reporter from Las Vegas, that he had seen autopsy photos of aliens within Area 51 and that the U.S. government had utilized the facility to look at ships that had been recovered from space. Part of the information on these extraterrestrials mentioned UFO spacecraft that use a method of propulsion to manipulate gravitational fields. Gravitational propulsion uses gravity applied to a flying saucer utilizing the circular shape rather than reversing gravity, as space is defined as the geometric construction of energy. He claimed to have witnessed incredible propulsion and power systems running on an element he named Element 115. This supposed element, later given the formal name Moscovium, would enable space-time to be bent and space travel possible through the use of anti-gravity propulsion technology. Area 51 the secret base. Area 51 has been raising several imaginations in the minds of many due to connections with alien conspiracy theories, UFO sightings, and advanced craft testing. 
For Bob Lazar to release such declassified pictures about the site puts his claims on a bigger scale to awaken people to activities going on that may or may not pose a threat to humans. The U.S. Air Force military base, known as Area 51, is situated near Groom Lake in southern Nevada. The Southern Californian Edwards Air Force Base is in charge of overseeing it. Although the installation's sole verified use is as a flight testing facility, it has been the subject of many conspiracies concerning extraterrestrial life. There have been rumors regarding the installation for many years, especially in light of the increasing number of UFO encounters in the area. The location was designated as Area 51 on Atomic Energy Commission maps, and this became the site's common name. The author, Annie Jacobson, likewise rejected the notion that the facility was truly approachable by citizens. The Pulitzer Prize finalist author of Area 51, an uncensored history of America's top secret military base, claimed that the covert military installation is housed inside a classified testing and training range the size of Connecticut. That foundation is so fiercely defended, in the real world as well as in the media. The Air Force, together with all the other military and intelligence community partners stationed at Area 51, are unlikely to allow anyone to come even close to the door. There is a widespread belief that Area 51, where the U.S. government keeps abducting aliens, is used for experimentation utilizing crashed alien spacecraft. Lazar's statements strengthened the notion that Area 51 is a center for extraneous knowledge by adding depth to this long-standing notion. The buildings captured on the site have structures that accommodate such speculations. There is no denying that the base is shrouded in mystery, which makes it a great place for rumors to sprout. The story of Bob Lazar has always fascinated people, no doubt partly because of the mystery surrounding Area 51 and the attraction of secrets beyond human comprehension. The United States government formally recognized Area 51's existence in 2013. In 1998, the National Security Archive at George Washington University was able to get a severely censored version of a CIA paper detailing the history of the U-2 spy plane, which had previously been released in 1998, thanks to the Freedom of Information Act. The study states that the U-2 was tested in 1955 at a distant location which contained an airport that had not been used by the military since World War II. Numerous reports of UFO sightings in the vicinity were likely caused by test flights of that spy plane and other aircraft, as the U-2 was capable of reaching far higher altitudes than any other plane at the time. Following the U-2's deployment in 1956, Area 51 was utilized to build further aircraft such as the F-117 Nighthawk Stealth Fighter and the A-12, also known as Oxcart, which was employed for surveillance. Conspiracy Theories The idea that Lazar was a government disinformation agent entrusted with spreading false information to draw attention away from top-secret military programs is one of the most well-known conspiracy theories concerning him. This idea holds that Lazar's account was purposefully written to turn public interest and divert attention away from the true secrets being held at Area 51. This theory's proponents contend that Lazar's inconsistent narrative and lack of credible evidence are intentional attempts to raise questions and cause doubt. According to another conspiracy theory, Lazar's assertions are part of a bigger government plot to conceal evidence of alien contact. This theory holds that Lazar was picked as a whistleblower to gradually inform the public about extraterrestrial technology in anticipation of its eventual exposure. Lazar's allegations are consistent with those of other false whistleblowers and released documents, which together form a network of evidence supporting the presence of alien technology, according to supporters of this idea. On the other side of the debate, skeptics drew attention to the dearth of hard proof, like official records or similar eyewitness accounts, that backs up their claims. The contradictions in Lazar's descriptions of his fake employment at S-4 are another point of contention for detractors. I started calling Los Alamos at first. Nope, we have no record of a guy named Bob Lazar. Going one step further, some conspiracy theorists contend that Lazar's account is a component of a larger plot to skew the public's view of reality. They contend that Lazar's assertions are being used by the government in collusion with influential elites 
to gauge public opinion regarding the existence of extraterrestrial life and cutting-edge technology. Through controlled leaks and whistleblowers, they can progressively introduce these ideas to the public and then monitor public opinion to modify their plans. Some conspiracy theorists have reacted to Lazar's statements with greater sensitivity in subsequent years. They admit that, although there might be some truth to his story, it is probably laced with false facts and misinformation. This idea suggests that Lazar's superiors may have purposefully given him misleading information in order to preserve sensitive military projects and further confuse the public. According to this argument, Lazar might have been duped into unintentionally disseminating a mix of fake information and the truth. Furthermore, numerous intricate conspiracy theories have been proposed in relation to Bob Lazar's statements. Some people contend that Lazar is a real whistleblower who is revealing the truth regarding super-terrestrial technology, while others think his story is a skillfully orchestrated government misinformation campaign. On the other hand, doubters challenge Lazar's claims for lacking hard proof and being inconsistent. In the end, Lazar's assertions continue to be shrouded in mystery, and the controversy both fascinates and divides conspiracy theorists and skeptics. Different Opinions on Bob Lazar's Claims His account of advanced superterrestrial technology, government secrecy, and concealed breakthroughs met with agreement, sparking lively discussions, theories, and a deep curiosity about this hidden base for over three decades. But his recently released structured footage on Area 51 sparks fresh interest in the area. It raises steady waves of different opinions, but the larger percentage are doubters, critics, and haters. This leads to doubts about the footage. Is the authenticity of the footage genuine or just a digital manipulation? The doubters point out the absence of contextual cues in the footage since he claimed to have worked on a site close to Area 51 and was verified, not actually on the site. The mockers also came from the angle that his educational and professional background can't be verified, so he might just be a hoax. Beyond different views on his recent message, it was made clear that the choice to believe is with individuals, but the proof that such a world existed is on the ground. Lazar has not been able to produce any tangible evidence to back up his assertions. Therefore, critics contend that his account is devoid of credible evidence. Supporters of Lazar, however, cite his purported familiarity with cutting-edge scientific ideas, such as the anticipated discovery of Element 115, as proof of his veracity. Many people doubt Bob Lazar's authenticity and motivations because it is unclear what exactly is behind his allegations. Some contend that he is a courageous informant who took great risks in order to inform the people of the truth. However, detractors write him off as a simple attention seeker who made up a tale to become well known. They also contend that his assertions are invalid because the element 115 he addressed could not be synthesized until years after he made them. But it's possible that Lazar had access to information that wasn't generally recognized at the time because he was an insider. The imaginations of millions have been captivated by Bob Lazar's claims of outer space planes and his planned adventures at Area 51. Both the secrets kept within the mysterious walls of Area 51 and the riddles surrounding his narrative continue to intrigue and divide people. One thing is certain though, whether Lazar is a cunning manipulator, telling a spectacular story, or a spy exposing long-kept secrets, the attraction of the unknown and the potential for extraneous life will always drive us to solve the riddles that surround life beyond Earth. Let's hear your thoughts in the comments about this venture. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. See you soon.